A blender is great for making soups and smoothies. But what if you wanted to blend something like a garden rake or some golf balls? Well, I have the blender just for you. It's made by a company called Blendtec. And how we find out about Blendtec? Well, they made some way cool web videos. I'll show you. So Blendtec put these videos up on the web and within a month they've had over 11 million views. They've been on the Today Show, VH1, and have been covered in countless news stories all over the world. This one they did on Marbles, 833,000 views. So we had to go talk with them. So we had a chat with George Wright, marketing manager of Blendtec, and asked him why they chose video, why they put it on the web, and what other avenues have been opened up because of this. This is what he had to say. You know, you're, you're sitting right now where it all started. Um, a couple of months ago, I walked past this room and I saw sawdust all over the floor. And I hadn't been with the company very long. And I, and I looked, I asked somebody, why is there sawdust on the floor? And they said, well, Tom was in here testing out our blenders. Now, why, why video and why the internet? Why, why that decision? First of all, video has been always an important part of what we do here at Blendtec. Um, people tend to need to see what our equipment will do to really appreciate it. It's hard to take a picture of it or to explain in print what it is and what it does. And so video we've, has been a forum that we've gravitated to over the years. Unfortunately, um, buying ad space or buying commercial time has just been way beyond our reach as a company. Now how did you get the word spread? You, 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 you did it, you put it up on the internet, then what's the next step? What would you do? We put it on the, first of all, we, we got a website. We, we started our own Will It Blend website and we built that up. We put the videos on it and then we posted the videos to YouTube and some other sites that are out there. And uh, then we started to kind of seed the idea in some of the uh, online forums, in some of the blogs. And there were a couple that just grabbed a hold of it, just picked it up and it just went crazy. Uh, it just went crazy overnight really and uh, since then the viral nature is spreading and, and you will see just amazing traffic all you know you'll see you can watch it explode in an area like all of a sudden Singapore will just go crazy or all of a sudden um, you'll see things happen in Australia or it, it just it just seeds into an area and then it just explodes I know our, our business owners want to know bottom line uh, how has that been affected um, you mean people, sales? Yeah, people see these blenders. Um, has it been helpful? When people are aware that it exists, then you actually are able to participate in the purchasing decision. Everybody's not ready to buy our machine today. They're just not ready. Some people are. And for those people, I, there's been an immediate boost. And yes, we've seen significant increases. Um, our online sales for our home blenders, um, we're selling now in a weekend what we used to sell in an entire month. Um, in a record month at that. Um, so it's, it's been significant, but the, the, the beauty of a brand recognition program is this is something that people will always, people will never forget that there's a blender that will blend marbles or it will blend golf balls. It, it's just one of those things you don't forget. And so the brand awareness will last for people's entire lives, not just for the extent of this campaign. What's been your most fun episode so far? The thing that I like the most, I think, is the rake. It's just because everybody knows, you know, what a rake is like, and everybody understands what it what it does, and it's so visual. And when you're coming from across the room, and you can see Tom, you know, jamming this great big rake into this little blender, and it just destroys it. It's great. It's uh, you know, it's visual from across the room. So that's been one of our fun ones. A lot of people say, well, we we've wanted to do this for so long, but you know, weren't sure. Uh, what advice do you have to companies that you know aren't sure if they should get started or where to get started? I would just stand back and take a look at your day and if you find something you say, wow, that's really cool, you know what, maybe it is really cool. And that's the thing about a viral campaign is it does, it has to be, it has to be worth watching or nobody's going to watch it. And where, where does it go? Um, you know, you do the videos, 
Are you gonna run out of things to blend? Um, is there is there an extended plan? <laughs> well, one of the fun things has been we've invited people to come back and to suggest what we should destroy in our blender next. Two months ago, you had asked me if we had achieved this kind of recognition in so short of time, I wouldn't have believed you, okay? When we started this campaign, our hopes were that we would be able to spread the word and get something out there in a very fun way. I thought it would be much longer to have happen than it probably has. And we've done a lot of things right. We've done a lot of things uh, in a very efficient way. And, and that has helped us to bring the success about very quickly. Um, it's really blown us all away, though, to be honest with you. And uh, can other people do this? Sure. There's, it's, it's, there's a low barrier to entry. Um, you just need to make sure that you have something that people uh, would be interested in. Something, if it's cool enough to watch and share with your neighbor, then that's great. If, if the nature of the product is demonstrated through the course of this uh, kind of cool thing you're trying to build, then that's really the awareness that you want. I mean, you can, you, we, can, we can just go out and shoot them up with a gun or run over them with a truck or do you know, silly things like that. But to actually demonstrate the product in an extreme way has really been the success for this campaign. All right, well, that about covers it. Until next time, I'm Lori Randall with the Coppercast.